So today, we're going to be talking about a letdown and what that is. Okay, what is a letdown? <clears throat> well, the letdown, also known as the milk ejection reflex, is where a cow's mammary glands or any type of dairy animal's mammary glands or any mammal's, uh... hers included, any mammal's mammary glands release the milk that is produced so that way it can be extracted by a calf, a lamb, a baby, a machine, my hands. And there are two primary hormones associated with the milk letdown, prolactin and oxytocin. Prolactin is important for the actual long-term sustaining of lactation inside the dairy animal. And there are multiple different researches completed or done discussing the varied importance of that. And I'll link to those in the description. If you suppress prolactin, you're going to stop or dry up the animal. And there's some use of that as for actually drying it up. <clears throat> However, when you add or increase the prolactin levels, the results varied. Increased prolactin doesn't necessarily correlate to higher milk yields, at least in the short term. There are a lot of other varieties or things affecting that. So there's not much we can do with prolactin unless we want to dry up the animal. Then we can give medicines to suppress the prolactin secretion inside the animal. The other hormone associated with that is oxytocin. Oxytocin we can do things about. <clears throat> and that is important. You're not going to get a letdown if you don't have that oxytocin rush. What produces that, at least that we can control in the milking process or in the animal, is when the calf starts to stimulate the teeth or the lamb starts to stimulate the teeth or we start to stimulate the teeth in the cleaning process, the milk stripping. That is going to cause the brain to create oxytocins, which is going to go through the bloodstream down to the mammary glands and actually create the letdown or the milk ejection reflex. So why do I care? Well because the letdown is what actually gives me the yield or gives the calf the yield or the milk. So things that affect oxytocin production are going to directly affect my milk yield. If I handle the calf or the cow or animal in a very stressful manner, especially if that stress is prolonged or long-term, their milk production is going to decrease. Vice versa, if I handle the cow or the animal in a good manner, one with gentle handling techniques, give them feed, let them be near their calf, they're going to have a higher oxytocin production actually allowing me to get a better letdown and therefore more yields. So it is very advantageous for me to make the animal happy so they can actually get that oxytocin rush and therefore have the letdown. Now, the big question is, why am I shooting this in front of my, da or my beef animal? Yes, that happens to be my bull. My Angus cow was in the picture earlier, and here comes my dog. Lactation is not just important for dairy animals. Yes, dairy animals, our actual yield is the milk itself. So there is a direct correlation. But my beef cow, her sole job on the farm is to produce a calf, to grow that calf quickly so I can then get it on grass or grain and then proceed to get that to a finishing weight for butcher. If the cow is not lactating well enough, if, her, if my beef animal's milk is not nutritious, if it's not good, that calf is going to grow slower. And then I'm going to have to have that calf longer before I can either bring it to market or get it to a good finishing weight. So lactation is important, not just for our dairy animals, but also for our meat production animals as well. Hope you learned something. See you next time.